Hi friends and welcome to today's episode of Barefoot in Florida. I wanted to review Ponds Inlet Beach. So we had gone to uh, Ant Catfish Restaurant, uh, which was fantastic. It was amazing. We all loved it. And then we went over to the lighthouse in Ponds Inlet, which also had a museum. Um, those are also videos that I have posted. But today I wanted to talk about Ponds Inlet Beach. Um, and I like to do reviews on beach because I'm from Florida and not all beaches are made the same. <laughs> Ponds Inlet Beach today. Uh, just so you know, it is a part of Volusia County. Um, with Volusia County, you can get a parking pass. Um, it is $20 a day to go park on the beach or for non-Volusia County residents, it is $100 a year. We do not live in Volusia County, so we pay the $100 a year. They're really nice about it. They just stick it to the front of your car. Um, a few of the other beaches that are a part of Volusia County, other than Ponds Inlet, is Daytona, uh, Wilbur by the Sea, New Smyrna, um, Ormond, Ormond by the Sea, and Bethune. So if you choose to go any of those beaches, those are a part of that parking pass that you can go to. Now, we usually go to New Smyrna, even though it is a shark bite capital of the world, um, I know a lot of you are wondering why that is and why that makes a big difference because number one it's beautiful I don't think the sharks know that but there are a lot of like bait fish in the water and there's a lot of surfers um, and there are we have seen quite a bit of sharks out there but usually they're tiny so we're not real worried about it now I will say that right before my daughter went off to college we were out swimming we go see the sunrise, we're in the water, and we walk back up on the beach, and I find a shark's tooth about this big. So if you're walking around, you can find them there. Um, finding one that big is a little scary, but they are in the water. Um, you don't have to go super deep. They have lifeguards there, which is great. I always try to park next to a lifeguard. Um, but today we're gonna talk about Ponds Inlet Beach. Now, I have a way of scoring the beach. I don't know if other people do. If you do, leave a comment because I like to know what you guys look for in beaches. But uh, my top five are parking. Is the sand soft? Do you get stuck? Um, is the sand dirty when you walk through it? That's kind of gross. Um, are there a lot of shells on the beach? Are there restrooms close to the beach? And what can you do? at the beach other than lay in the sun. Well, I did not like the parking here. The sand was really soft. We actually had um, a couple people around us get stuck in the sand, um, which is fine. You just help them, push them out. Um, they were all little cars, but if you have a four wheel pickup truck you're not gonna get stuck if you do it's kind of funny you just flick sand everywhere but I'm not gonna do that with my car um, I didn't get stuck but like I said the people around us did you just put it in reverse and push them out which was great but I don't I don't like it that it was that soft in the area where you drive back and forth um, that was that was not cool now the sand was super dirty um, our feet kept getting pretty black now I did hear two women over talk about how they had to come in and restock the sand there which is something that does happen at Florida beaches um, if there's a lot of storms in the area it'll wash all the sand out and they have to pack it in I don't know what they where they get the sand from but it was dirty and I didn't like it there weren't a very many shells out there um, I like to go looking for shells or Glass. I'm always looking for buried treasure, even though I've never found any. I'm not holding that against anybody, but I will one day. I know it. Um, but there weren't a lot of shells to look for, and it might be because of the time, the season. I'm not. I'm not really sure about that beach. I've never been to this one before. 
Now, I will say I didn't see any rip currents, but that weekend in New Smyrna, um, somebody did get stuck in a rip current. Um, and again, they are a part of Volusia County beaches, but it is a different beach. Um, so you, your pass does work. It's a different beach. Not all beaches are the same, even though they're in the same county, unfortunately. So, um, you know, we're really praying and hoping that person who got stuck in the rip current, I did see it on the news that they, um, the ambulance came and took them. Um, but we didn't see any there, so that was good. There were, we didn't find a restroom. Now, I like public restrooms near, um, the beach because the kids always have to go to the bathroom and usually there's showers outside so you can rinse the kids off before you get in the car or you can have them change um, and usually there's like a little playground area for the kids to play if they need a break from just laying in the sun and um, places in Volusia County are really good for that having um, those kind of amenities close to the beach um, but I didn't see any here. Maybe we just didn't walk down the right boardwalk to get to it. Um, but we did walk down one looking for a restroom and they had like a little picnic area. It was, it was really cute. Um, I did enjoy that part that there were other things to do there than just going on the beach. Now we did walk down one of the uh, I guess boardwalks, but there was a pier we did go down went to the other side um no with Volusia County beaches it is not um turtle nesting season yet that's usually um May 1st through October 31st so out of my list of stuff um the sand sand getting your feet dirty the shells um the rip currents the restrooms I would give this a two out of five so I'm definitely gonna go back to this beach later in the year uh, to see if maybe I'm judging it harshly and we'll we'll see if we have a better turnout I will say the wind was fantastic we always take a lot of toys so we are always um, going we like to fly our kites out there we like to play frisbee uh, we like to play uh, with a football we'll go and throw it so even though we're not playing in the water we are doing a lot of other activities uh, Jeremy and Ezra really like to take out uh, their metal detectors um, to see if they can find anything they didn't find anything this time but we'll we'll definitely check back in with this beach later in the year and see if it's a lot better um, the wind was fantastic. Ezra really got to get his kite really high. A lot of other people were flying kites, so it's always a fun atmosphere. We did leave before um, it got dark. Um, a lot of people are usually out on the beach. They have little fires. I know that you can't have alcohol on the beach. However, we did find some beer bottles out there. I have seen um, the cops come out and patrol definitely during spring break and they'll ask you what's in your coolers. We never have alcohol so we're not real worried about it. Usually it's a lot of water because we're thirsty. Um, but if you had a different experience, um, comment and let us know what you guys think about that beach and maybe there's a better time of year. There's a lot of fun stuff to do around it which we really liked. Again, uh, Amp Catfish's restaurant was fantastic. We did do a review on that. We will be going back. Um, the lighthouse and the museum was a good little uh, couple hour trip. Um, and we'd like to go back. Ezra loved going to the top. They do have, um, I think it's called Marine, Marine Land there. They do have, um, I think it's Mosquito Trail. It's a really long uh, walking trail around that area. I'd like to go and see. I think that would be super fun for the kids. Um, but I'm not really, really sure about this beach. So like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later.